Welcome back everyone. Today I'm working with a Apple MacBook Air from 2017 and here is what we are going to do to improve its performance. We are replacing the SSD with a faster, more efficient one. Replace worn screws for stability. Install a new battery and refresh the thermal paste on the processor. I'll show you how to create a bootable USB for macOS installation and of course clean out any dust to ensure smooth operation. Before we begin, let's see how long it takes this MacBook to boot with its current SSD. Let's see if by the end we can get a much better boot time. To ensure our new SSD is recognized, let's format it correctly. Insert the new SSD as an external USB drive, then open Disk Utility. Make sure Show All Device is selected in the View tab. Select the primary partition, click Erase. And format as macOS Extended Journal Ed with GUID Partition Map as the scheme. After this, eject properly the SSD. Insert a USB flash drive and open the browser. Search download macOS and click on the Apple's official link. Select the version of macOS you want to install. Download it and let it finish. Next, find the specific terminal command for your macOS version and copy it. Paste the command into terminal. Delete slash volumes slash my volume. And navigate to your USB drive by going to slash volumes under the go tab. Now take the installation file and drop it into the terminal. Enter your password if prompted. Type Y to continue and wait for confirmation.
to open the MacBook we will need a Phillips and T5 or T6 screwdriver to remove the back panel. Disconnect the battery connector to safely proceed with upgrades. Unscrew the battery screws, then you can remove it. Now we have to remove the old SSD by removing its only one screw. The new Samsung Evo SSD needs an adapter to fit the MacBook's interface. Safely place the new battery. And don't forget to screw its screws. Now let's improve the heat management. For this, we need a new thermal paste tube, a small vacuum cleaner, isopropyl alcohol and cotton swabs. Remove the heat sink and cooling fan. As you can see, this old thermal paste is dry. Use alcohol soaked cotton buds to clean off that old thermal paste. Also vacuum out any dust from internal parts for a properly cleaning. Then apply a fresh layer. Reconnect the battery and replace the back panel. Connect the charger. Insert the bootable USB. 
and power on the laptop by holding down the option key to boot from the USB. In Mac OS Utilities, select Disk Utility, then format the new SSD to APFS format. Exit Disk Utility and start the macOS installation. To avoid issues, make sure to disable Hibernate mode if needed. After installation, let's compare the speed of the new SSD to the old one. Using the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, we can see the new SSD writing speed has doubled and its read speed has increased by half. Finally, let's test the boot time. Our MacBook now boots up to 4.3 times faster than with the old SSD. Thanks for watching, I hope this guide helped you improve your laptop's speed. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you were able to speed up your MacBook with this process. See you in the next video.